thought you weren't making an appearance until Saturday. I wasn't expecting your presence tonight. Princess Kate. Oh, believe me, the pleasure is all mine. I've heard so much about you. You are Lady Danbury's son? Pleasure to finally meet you. I've heard many things. Good and bad, to be quite honest. Yes, I am the daughter of Queen Margaret. A lot of people didn't know she had a daughter, so yes, we often get that reaction. Well, I don't really step out to these sort of fancy events that often. People dancing. Not really my sort of go-to pastime. <laughs> oh, don't get me wrong, I, I love dancing and, you know, me and one girl doesn't fantasize about that dream of a prince charming sweeping her away onto the dance floor. But, um, you know, around other people, around family, I prefer a more intimate setting that sort of thing. Not around all of this. But anyways, my apologies for blabbering. I tend to do that a lot. Um, it's very lovely to meet you. So you are going to be courting me eventually, correct? Yes, well, we are being forced to marry, so we might as well get to know one another. Well, I was in love once. <laughs> yes, it was excruciatingly painful, to say the least. I swore to myself I would never fall in love again. So. Well, yes, I always knew that I was going to be forced to marry. Whether I wanted to or not, to someone that I hardly even know. So I kind of gave up on that dream of... I don't know, finding the quote-unquote love of my life sort of feels like a out-of-touch fantasy now. Really? So you've never been in love before? I find that sad. <laughs> no, no, no. Believe me, not in that way. It's just think there's anything I love more in this world than love. I think it's beautiful to find someone that you share things with, someone that knows you, you know. You look into their eyes and it's like suddenly everybody else in the room disappears. Haven't you always wanted to find that? I think you'll find that'll grow on you, hopefully. <laughs> well, since we are being forced to spend eternity together, um, would you like to tell me about? Oh, yes. Well, oh, thank you very much. Yes, I'll take some. Have you had French chocolate before? Oh, you simply must try it. You haven't lived. Honest. Thank you very much. Yes, well, if you think your grandfather over there dancing as if he's caught the plague is embarrassing, look over there. Yes, the lady with the tall white hair, stuffing her face with cream puffs. That is my grandmother. <laughs> You've heard of her. She comes to all of these sort of events, stuffs her purse with the finest treats, and then leaves. <laughs> Sometimes she stays and spends the entire night with crumbs scattered all over her face. Nobody ever says anything to her because I believe we all find it kind of humorous. Sort of became a little joke amongst us all, honestly. We all sort of laugh to ourselves. Whisper, whisper, whisper. <laughs> it is quite funny, yes. But how about you finally try some French chocolate? I think you'll love it. I think you'll love it. I think you'll love it. Love it, love it. It's 
rich, creamy. It's perfect. I find that you can eat, I don't know, at least up to seven pieces. Your tummy won't even hurt. Well, France is quite magical. Is this your first time here? Really? Fascinating. And you're from England, correct? Well, welcome to France. How do you like it here? Isn't it divine? Everything you've ever dreamed of? And more. I do love it here. Born and raised. Although I don't know French as well as I'd like to. My mother's put me in classes since I was a child. It's never really stuck on me, but that also might have to do with the fact that I never quite pay attention. I get bored. I don't know, I daydream about faraway places where I can roam free all day. Perhaps in a garden. In the poofiest dress imaginable. Just roaming free, tending to my animals. No expectations or responsibilities or worries. Yes, well, in a couple of years I will be on my way to being Queen of France, and I don't <laughs> don't think I'm quite ready for that yet. That's a big responsibility, and well, half the time I don't even know what day it is. <laughs> Without my maid's help, well, my head would probably be not on my shoulders. <laughs> I want to get my gloves dirty, but for chocolate, it'd be worth it, I suppose. Here you are. You're very welcome. I'm going to grab my wipes. Mm -hmm. You'll find that these have little crunchies, little crunchies in them. Not exactly sure what they are, but they add a sort of fun texture to the chocolate. Cheers. It's not often that I meet someone who's a fellow dark chocolate connoisseur. It's delectable, isn't it? It has a sort of bitter taste, but it's incredibly addicting. Would you excuse me for a minute? A moment. Yes, hello. Yes, pleasure to make your acquaintance. I've heard so much about you as well. Oh, no, not at all. I will get back to them. Oh, thank you. That is quite lovely. I love yours as well. That design, is it new? Lady whistled out. What about it, didn't she? I bet. <laughs> well, it was lovely to see you too. Give my wishes to Carrington, please. Thank you. <laughs> yes, you too. Goodbye. Sorry. I have to do that fake. I'm so happy that you're here conversation with almost everyone in the room. It's quite exhausting. Yes, these gloves are quite itchy. This corset is suffocating me and taking the air out of my lungs. It is quite pretty though, so it's okay. Why, thank you. You like the design? Flora made it for me. Handpicked. Handmade. Mm -hmm. The flowers are real on it as well. They're just dried. Yes, I can feel if you'd like. Lovely, right? I always love to wear flowers somehow, some way. They are my favorite. That is why I'm so happy that today is the rose ball. As you can see, we've got the roses hanging behind. I love the floral themed balls. They're my favorite. I mean, look at everyone's dresses. I mean, even the men. They're gorgeous suits. With a little rose sticking out. It's beautiful, isn't it? You like the chocolate, I can see that. You can have the rest of mine. Oh, no, no, no. Between you and I, I have a whole stash in my room. And my maid brings them to me after all these sort of events. Yes, yeah, so well, I'm not really allowed to be seen eating much. Don't know why, isn't that quite silly? So, usually after everyone's left, my maid, Karina, she's over there. She... Yes, 
in love with him since as long as I can remember and she talks to him any chance she can get. I mean, look at the twinkle in her eyes. Isn't that romantic? But anyways, <laughs> she's always bringing me the finest treats after these. It's one of the reasons I love her so much. She's always sneaking things for me. Really, you have a maid as well. I see. Sort of mischievous together. <laughs> well, yes, she's known me since I was about four or five years old. She's kind of been more of a mother figure than Queen Margaret, to be quite honest. Well, you know, my mother is queen. She has a lot of duties, and I don't despise her for it necessarily, but. I mean, what daughter doesn't want more time with their mother? My father died when I was six. Oh, it's okay, you didn't know? That's okay. He was my best friend. He was hilarious and charming. He always picked me my favorite flowers as well. Daisies, yes. He just got super sick. one day. Uh, anyways, I noticed that you've got a few hairs out of place. I was wondering if you wouldn't mind if I'd brush through. <laughs> you look dashing, of course, but, you know, here they are very strict and I see lady cords giving you some dirty looks, dirty looks, dirty looks. Just kind of glancing over here looking at your hair and thought I'd save you the humiliation because she has this sort of thing about perfection. Everyone around her has to be perfect. She has to be perfect. She comes over here and gives you this long speech, blah, 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 blah. Perfection is this, perfection is that. If the hair is out of place, then everything's a mess, and blah, 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 blah. And she goes on and on, and I'd rather spare you that. I also need to brush mine a bit as well, so would you mind? Let me grab my brush. I often bring it with me for situations like this. You just go through and fix mine really quickly. Everyone's got a sort of thing here about being perfect all the time. Have you noticed that? I mean, do they have that where you come from in your kingdom? Really? A bit more carefree, perhaps? Well, most of this kingdom is ruled by women. So, of course, it's quite beautiful, but that also comes with some of its cons. Not a hair must ever be out of place. Stomach can't be bigger than two inches. <laughs> it's quite exhausting, but I think once I become queen, I want to change so much about this kingdom. Truly, I do. Do you mind if I touch? Okay. You can just rest your head gently. Oh, I don't know. I would just want things to be different, you know what I mean? Well, once you and I are married, they move us into the Glyphodon, Glyphodon, Glyphodon castle. And that's where we'll stay, raise a family, start our own little nation, perhaps. <laughs> She'd always rather be feared than loved because people who are feared are more respected. You now, if you're loved, then you get walked all over. What is going on with my gloves? I'll need to get some new ones. <laughs> I don't necessarily believe that. Why can't we just be kind to everyone? Exactly. Imagine how much softer and more gentle the kingdom would be. Everyone always looks so uptight, poor things. If I had someone for laughing, I would want my kingdom to be full of love and laughter and light. I wouldn't want to be feared, I would want to be not 
not necessarily worshipped or loved, but I don't know, I would want people to find a sense of comfort that they can rely on me. Yes, everybody would be well taken care of, well fed. Can you believe she fired someone for laughing? I think a leader should be like that. Why would you want to be feared? Have people shake in your presence? It's quite ridiculous. Quite self-absorbent as well. I don't like that. My kingdom would be the most gentle and the most soft in all the land. I think. Hair looks much better. Didn't look bad before, but there's always room for improvement. Thank you. I appreciate your saying that. Oh, yes, well, some people did say that you were, um, no, these are their words, not mine, okay? I do not think this. I never thought this. I never judged someone. You know, I like to meet people first before I sort of make an analysis on them. I think it's wrong to judge someone you don't know. Yes, well, um, everyone else around. And Lady Whistledown said that you were quite unbearable to be around. A snob and not very kind on the eyes. Now, now that I meet you at least, I, I simply can't see what they're talking about. Talking to you has been one of the most refreshing things in, well, my entire life. <laughs> it's been amazing. I mean, I feel finally, like, seen and heard. And your sense of humor, your wit, bounce off of each other. It's it's quite rare to find that here. <laughs> yes, and you are quite kind on the eyes. But I think you know that. Yes, yes, well, this would be the part where you compliment me. Mm -hmm, and then we go back and forth. And, no, you are. And then, you know, it's just a back and forth type of thing. Now, go on. I've heard that one. I've heard it all before. Tell me something new. Really? You think that of me? Oh, yes. Oh, Lady Danbury. Incredible honor to meet you. Yes, we were just speaking about you. They have great things to say, by the way. And that dress, beautiful, takes my breath away. Oh, of course, yes, you, you guys may talk. I will be right here. It's as if I'm not even here. Go for it. something to make her upset. Well, she shouldn't take it out on you. That's wrong. You didn't do anything. That wasn't your fault. Sometimes that happens with my mother, too. Something bad happens in her day, and suddenly she has to make my day bad as well. Don't take it personally. You didn't do anything wrong. I can see that. Of course, I see you're a good person. I don't think you would ever intentionally hurt or ruin anybody. You're very welcome. If you would like to meet up later. Hmm. I do have another ball I need to attend after this, but... Perhaps after dawn. Okay. Um... I don't know, perhaps in the Rose Yard. It's beautiful there, we could sit and talk for hours. flattered you would like to meet again. I mean, I know we're technically going to be spending the rest of our lives together, but of course we should get to know each other way more. Oh yes, of course. 
there's that right there on the map for you. Pleasure was all mine. 